Hello and thank you for watching our videos on Sane Auto YouTube. I'm your host Victor Sane. I've been ASE certified since the 1980s and master certified since 1991. <laughs> Concerns about your hybrid battery. Welcome back to Sane Auto. We really appreciate y'all watching all our videos. In this video, we're going to give you a whole bunch of really good, juicy information about the hybrid batteries. If you haven't seen one of these batteries yet, this is going to be an incredibly interesting video packed full of lots of great information. And it will make all those other videos on hybrid batteries make a lot more sense. First of all, there were over 1,688,000 third generation Priuses sold. They were also known as the XW30. That was from 2010 to 2015. We have a whole nother video on the things that I like that are different between the third generations and the second generations, but we're not going to get into that today. We're going to focus on these hybrid batteries. These are nickel metal hydride batteries. They're 8.8 .8 kilowatt capacity, but that is a 1.3 kilowatt per hour capacity. They total about 210 volts, so you don't want to be mucking around with it with your bare hands. So anything like this you want to learn stuff about, instead of going after it with your bare hands, you just poke it with a stick. And if you want to learn more, you poke it with a stick some more. There are 28 of these modules. And each module has six cells in the module. Now that's 168 cells at 1.25 volts per cell. Each module totals about 7.5 volts and that's how when you get 28 of them wired in series through bus bars you end up with two, approximately 210 volts. If you're testing one of these modules you need to look for like 7.8 volts or better. We got a whole different video on testing these, so don't. There's a lot more to testing it than just the 7.8 volts, but we'll get into that in the other video. These are, like I said, connected in series through bus bars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and this last one acts as a bus bar going through the service plug grip, which we'll get to later. There's also one big long bus bar over here, which we'll also get to later. But first, you need to know this is the carrier. This is the right hand bracket and the left hand bracket. Over here, you have the battery ECU. You have a positive and negative relay. Forgive me, I don't remember which one's positive, which one's negative. Uh, but there is a pre charge relay. <laughs> I try to be, <laughs> but you're more positive than I am. There is a resistor right here. This is the cooling fan for the battery cooling system. There's a duct over here. You need to make sure that the inlet for the duct stays clean and don't put anything on that part of the back seat blocking that. It blows through duct work that goes underneath the battery assembly and the air comes up between these modules. And there's another duct that ducts it out over here. You'll see that in some of our other videos. This cooling fan is a blower type fan. There's a high voltage cable right here. It runs along here, goes along here, and goes all the way to the front. And in my other video, when I'm explaining the stuff underneath the hood, I will show you where it connects and what it connects to and what the names of those components and stuff are. Like I'm doing now, because you'll need to know those names if you want to do research and look up prices and availability for the parts or you can look in the description of my videos where I put links to the parts and the tools that I use in my videos. This white plug goes to a current sensor. This is called the service plug grip. It you also need to tell them all about that thing because I do in a horrible. video. There's a whole nother video about this thing and uh, yeah you'll want to see that. It also has a high amp fuse. These are your vent tubes that vent the noxious gases that the modules create when they're charging and discharging and they go down here and go outside the vehicle. You want to make sure these stay in really good condition because you don't want to be breathing those fumes. 
There are temperature sensors here, 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 and another temperature sensor connected to this, this little wiring harness that goes down in here and senses the temperature coming from the blower fan. These covers right here are called a bus bar module protector. There's a short one here and a longer one here. And a hint to what you'll see in our other videos about these batteries is if you look right here, you can see some corrosion on that nut and on the bus bar. We'll be going over things like that when we, in our videos about testing and checking and common problems with these batteries, battery assemblies, and other hybrid stuff. And if you're not into hybrids, of course, we have lots of videos on the Mustangs, on the Crown Vic, on the modular engine in the the big van over here that we haul parts around in. We have lots of videos on transmission parts and transmission repair, on and on and on. We also have our show car videos, our hot rod videos, our car show videos, you know, just about anything automotive. And our live streams on Sundays at 7.30 p.m. right here on St. Auto. Till the next video, get off the couch and get dirty. Don't do anything I do in my videos, and don't even do anything I talk about in my videos. Welcome to St. Auto. We're so glad you're here. We don't just do repairs and tool reviews. Bienvenida a St. Auto. Nosotros no solamente hacemos We also film hot rods and mod rods, project cars, classic cars, antiques. Nosotros también filmea autos antiguos. Mod rods, hot rods, cualquiera. We also like to take you with us to the car shows and the cruise ends, so make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell so you don't miss anything. Me la gustaría llevarte con nosotros a los cruise ends y car shows. Entonces, empuja ese botón y toca la campaña para que no pierda nada. My philosophy is, if, if you wouldn't lick it or swallow it, you don't need to be breathing it. So no matter how hot, miserable, and uncomfortable it is, put a dust mask on, suck it up, buttercup, and protect yourself. Whoa, look at that. Did you see that cloud? Oh, geez. Dang.